was on this side again. God, I'm gonna respawn that damn thing though. Oh, that's right. Wait. Wait, I did this. Did that? I? I don't remember. I always come back. I think I did. Wait, did you hear that? They're so like conveniently placed too, like it's crazy. Nope. God. God, I hate these guys so much. Yikes. Okay. I hear you. Here? Up here. Oh, that's right, the cage. Oh, oh, uh, that might be why. Wait. So I either drop into it. And that becomes a shortcut, maybe. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, or I gotta come around, which means I have to come in through this side. Well, the bench is here. Okay. How bad could this be? Right. You know what? I don't need. I don't need to deal with this. Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Oh, I don't like this. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I can't. Yeah. No, no. 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 Oh. At least he's dead. Is he dead? Are you kidding me? Oh no. 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 Oh. I really need to heal. Please respawn. Thank you. I have no idea how important this is. <laughs> oh dear. There we go. Thank you. That would be a good. Are you kidding? Wait. If you keep on, let me see something. Have I just found an exploit of uh, epic proportion geo making proportions? <laughs> There's a bench below too. I'm sure it's not as crazy as I thought. This gets me. Oh. Okay, it was doing little cycles and stuff, so okay, it wasn't, it wasn't as much as I thought. It does get me my health back, though. What the hell is this? What the hell is this? Hmm. Well, I obviously can't do it. Well, I mean, I'm already here, right? So I've just, uh, if it's a death, it is, right? No. Gulp. Oh my god, it's really quiet in here. Oh, hello. Cursed are those who turn against the king. It's a massive graveyard. Oh, don't vandalize it, jackass. Cursed are those. So either the king was a tyrant and the, the we got the hero. We got this dude that the thing was for, right? This this thing. The horned hero. Oops. And then there's this shrine here. Which I think is for this knight. Um... And there's a three masks, so maybe I don't know. There's like three. They would have been the masks are from dead soul or souls, right, or something. King was a tyrant. And this knight here, I'm I'm so far I'm understanding this. Possibly there was a sacrifice here of this dude, uh, to maybe keep things at bay or something. And so this shrine right here is I not so much a shrine as a kind of um, a capsule or a tomb or some sort of way of. Uh, keeping this thing at bay possibly or like because this this so if this is the same person and the horns look exactly the same but if this is the same person as this this was a hero but i'm wondering if the hero sacrificed themselves and then 
I don't know, like some curse or some curse of the king. There's a lot of word with cursing, right? So and then this that line right there with the king is like with the king curse something, and then this this sac this person here, and then I'm like, is that person somehow connected to us? I don't know. This just feels like from a narrative standpoint, it feels like that would be kind of cool to connect. That your I don't know, maybe your figment or something attached. I, I'm kind of speculating, so don't spoil me, of course, in the comments. Um, and then of course there's like there's something going on down below so the further the deeper we go the more corrupt things seem to be um i noticed for example grinding this zone there's a lot of things that are just they're husks and they're even in our journal of course right um oops uh get, get me out of there they're even in our journal where most of these are husks and stuff i noticed that right and look at the, so you look at the, they're just like black eyes right you come down to here and you start getting these little orange pupils, right? They're husk, but they got these orange pupils, and they have somewhat like you read the descriptions, and it's like they still have. They're trying to. They're they have a some semblance of their old life sort of thing. They're kind of stuck in process. Like this guy, I mean, he's he's a husk. He's got black eyes, but he's kind of stuck just guarding. Um, and then you come down into here, and you have these deeper uh, orange eyes uh, as you get into this these moss areas. Uh, maybe that's just it's a coincidence but then we start learning about this um these spores and like this infection like swollen with infection releases deadly gas so and then that so maybe the orange is on the outside of the body here but it's like inside here it's already taken them over so kind of like that uh that parasitic uh, fun fungus that uh zombifies ants eats up their brains and then like sends chemical signals that makes them go into a colony and <laughs> basically so so i'm thinking like maybe something like that is going on and then we have again the orange eyes okay the husk right just kind of stuck doing their thing um then we have this like the orange on the inside there it's kind of neat uh that thing bl blows up so it's kind of like it's um kind of spory as well um yeah, I mean the spikes are the eyes too in the bottom there. I guess are those eyes or just the warts? I don't know. But there's so the fungus. Uh, yeah, and then we go into the mantis. Now the mantises, I don't think that they. I don't know. They a member of proud tribe fiercely protects his territory, and launches stinging attacks. I don't think these ones are husks or possessed. Member of a proud tribe fiercely protects the territory, and then they have they still have a council, which means that they still have. Uh, sentience they're still aware of what they're doing they have a council they're not just going through the patterns of like for example the these guys are going through patterns like the knights and stuff like that right and kind of just doing same old same old like zombified no no these seem to have a, a society still and they seem to have they were protecting that gate and that then opens up now the gateway the gate go went to the council yeah but then the council is also protecting a gate and you can't cross it until you defeat those warriors you challenge them or something okay and then we have these husks here these sentries the ones that are in the keep and now look at the size of their eyes huge orange eyes they're like these bigger like tougher um uh, insect beings and they just made mention the king cursed by the king so i'm like maybe that's where it started and then spread from there or something we got the mages in there of course is that these okay and then we as oops servanty kind of things here uh the cowardly husks i suppose that were in the keep i'm not entirely sure what to think of these ones yet Got some orange eyes there, orange eyes, orange, and then orange fungus, and normal eyes. Anyways, so maybe something like that is going on. There's a story here unfolding, I'm sure, in the lore of the game. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm, I am, I am, a, I am so nervous right now. I really didn't sign up for another big fight. Oh, what's this? A mechanism with a slot for some kind of pass. Oh. Oh, are we in? Are we connected to the zones or something? Where am I? Oh, look at that. Oh, cool. Oh, it opens up the thing. Okay. So, I mean, it's on one side or the other, I suppose. But I, it looks like I need to get... Uh, that's the shortcut. So, usually the way these designs, these boards have been designed, is you have to defeat a boss something like that some challenge and you get something around that area or deep deep into a zone to then get the thing you need to unlock a shortcut but it's super quiet it's actually it's making me very it's un, it's making me uneasy oh god no oh no i i mean if i die I go back to up to the top there's it's almost it's okay it's only 400 right 
14. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, oh, this. I'm sure this is fine. Cinematic. -y. Come on, come on. <laughs> to protect the vessel, the dreamers lay sleeping. Hmm. Monomon, the teacher, in her archive, surrounded by fog and mist. Lurian, the watcher, in his spire. Oh, the three masks. Okay, okay. Looking over the city. Oh. Hera, the beast, in her den, amidst the deep darkness beyond the kingdom. Through their devotion, hallowness lasts eternal. So it, I do think it's some sort of sacrifice. And then these three masks are maybe empowering or powering up or their souls are kind of like a barrier. It's sort of tropey, but it's kind of how I see it. Um, and they're keeping the, the worst of it uh, contained. Now the worst of it, I don't know. I'm thinking it's that sacrifice night. Otherwise, I mean, this that needs to have a plot to the plot point that um, that big statue. Oh my god go no further little shadow oh no what compels its climb there it is out of the darkness what compels its return to the sacred kingdom see so the in between the whole there you go don't belong mm -hmm. uh call from beyond the seals by the vessel by the vessel so again the night possibly or by the captive light this is making me really dizzy stuff like this makes me nauseous as hell in games um, would the seals break, especially when you have to read things on the screen? <laughs> they cannot be undone. Would the seals break? They cannot be undone, but the vessel weight weakens. The plague springs anew. They must be undone. Yet still, our seals remain. Our duty holds. It must be cast away. Our duty holds. It shall be done. Please stop shaking. Please stop shaking. I'm so puky. Oh, hello. Please. Oh, God. I can't. I'm so nauseous. Okay, fade away, little shadow. Fade away and let us sleep in peace. Whoa. What? Whoa. What's going on here? Hello? Um. Whoa. Whoa. Hello? Oh, wow. What happens if I fall here? Oh, do you mind if you're summoning these things, making them a little bit bigger? I'd appreciate it. Oh, it's very pretty music, though. And a pretty setting. This looks really cool. I, mean, I suppose I've gotten a little bit better at this silly-ass platforming where the, <laughs> the two just stops in midair. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Oh God, please though, for real. I don't know what happens if I fall and I really don't want to find out. I mean, I probably, my hands are really sweaty right now. This kind of shit, this kind of, uh, <laughs> it's not heights, I don't know what it is. No, it's maybe a bit. <laughs> like I get nervous watching even people hanging off things and shit. <sighs> okay, listen. What a terrible fate they've visited upon you to cast you away into this space between body and soul and purgatory. Will you accept their judgment and fade slowly away? Or will you take the weapon before you and cut your way out of this sad, forgotten dream? What are you talking about? I got a new weapon? Ooh, what's this? <laughs> what have I stumbled upon? <laughs> the dream nail. To, oh gosh, hold, hold Y. To charge and slash with the nail. Cut through the veil between dreams and waking. What? I have a different attack button. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. That's cute. Uh -huh. Hello. Uh -huh. Ew, look at the, the, uh -huh. the lights. They look like screaming. Uh -huh. Oh God, I see her. I see her. Ah, you've returned. Welcome back to the world of the living. <laughs> the waking world. <laughs> Those I say that when people are freaking up, freaking up, sleepyhead. Welcome to the to my dog. Okay, fine. Uh, those figures, those dreamers, they reached out with what little power they still have and dragged you into the that hidden place. But that talisman you now wield, the dream nail, it can cut through the veil that separates the waking world from your our dreams. Even the dreamers themselves cannot hide from such a weapon. Though I must admit. That sacred blade has dulled over time. Together, perhaps, we can restore its power. You only have to bring me essence. Essence. The precious fragments of light that dreams are made of. 
collect it wherever you find it and bring it to me. Once we have enough, we can work wonders together. I am a professional at collecting things for hours and hours. Smith Seer, Miss Miss Seer, go out into the world, wielder. Hunt down the essence that lingers there. Collect 100 essence and return to me. I will teach you more. Oh no, and I've done it. I did it bad. I did it bad, and as soon as I did it, I was like, oh no, oh no, I have to go check. I didn't. I didn't. I, I quit the game. I quit the game before I got to the bench. Oh no! <laughs> I don't know how to get back over there. But I mean, I got the thing. But I don't. I don't. Oh god, it was right here. Okay. But I. I don't know how to get back to that other spot. You know what I'm saying? Like I. There's a whole spot I needed to be at. Oh god. What have I done? What have I done? Part of me was like when I when it happened, I was like, oh please, let it have um, let it have saved. Um, what's it called? Uh, let it have saved at the moth, you know. <laughs> let it have saved at the seer. You know, is what I was thinking. Oh my god. No, no, you don't understand. I can't be here. I need it. I need to do this in sequence. I regret everything. There was a whole area I needed to be at. right here <laughs> oh my god my god what have I done I thought I ruined everything well at least I know the game takes takes idiocy into consideration okay this thing but hold on the other thing is I forgot to uh, I forgot to come in to talk so god what's wrong with me let me actually complete this properly ah wielder you've returned let me have a look at the dream. Mm. You are still unpracticed in the way of dreams. Collect 100 essence with the dream nail. Visit me again, and I will share what little wisdom I have. Essence can be found wherever dreams take root. Hint, hint, wink, wink. Have you seen them, those whispering plants that grow all over the old kingdom? I believe there is one just outside. Why not strike it with your dream nail and see what happens? I will. Uh, after I talk, finish talking, I came in here for a reason. Okay, sorry, 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 you're right, you're right, you already talked to me. Okay, back to it then. Properly this time before signing off. Also, can I do anything with this? No. Also, does this... Pretty. Okay. Okay, just run into it. Yep. Okay. Oh wow, you need a hundred, huh? I can't wait to find out how to get a hundred. I like this sound. Bang, 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 bang! <laughs> oh, I need, I need that over there. Let's get more epic! Sorry, sir, do you want to wake up? Do you want to come out and play? Okay, I need to go and get... But did I not just grab this before? And now all of a sudden we're having some problems here? Come on, man. I want this now, please. Thank you. I don't know what I'm thinking. I gotta go. I gotta go back to the bench. Is what the hell I gotta do. I gotta... <laughs> okay, well, at least... Hey, I found out where I am, though, in a panic. That... Oh, hey, what's this? That's usually a good sign. A bench! <laughs> Sorry I missed you. If you're feeling lost, why not pop up to our store in Dirt Mouth? Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. Thanks, Jennifer. Ah, so nice. And this is. And this is. Sorry, gotta do that. A transport station to there to get this. Oh, wow, they just handed you everything. Well, it was a good, like, point. This was a good. Uh, what would I call this? I mean, this is a cool. I mean, for my. I, I do. I like to do narrative breakdowns. Can I hit this again? Of things, and I feel like there's something going on here that is definitely a story. I mean, 
Did you remember the penitent moth? Oh, dreams re revered. Jeez. Say something? Dead remembered. Penitent moth. Dreams revered. Okay, well, I don't have a hundred of these. I can't go into here, so that looks important. So I have found at least two more of these trees. Where now? I don't know. Could have marked them. Didn't. <laughs> Didn't. So I could have... I should have just assumed that... Oh, God. I should have assumed, right? That they were going to be necessary for something. <laughs> My bad. What was it saying? Oh, the breakdown. So, I mean, this was kind of an important turning point for our character here. It gets a sort of purpose, if you will, or I mean the question of it and what the, what its purpose is. And we got a bit of exposition on the night. I feel like it's a, if I were to call the beats here, I would say beginning of act two is where I feel like this game is at, despite the amount of hours I've put into it. Um, let me see what else, what else did we get here, by the way? I mean, nothing in here, I'm sure of it. Uh, we have our dream nail here. 20 essence we have some new dudes on the map here which those are the masks oh god i guess we gotta track these things down um it's creepy right here with the uh, oh and i ran across this dude right here with the name which could be one of them which means i don't want to uh, oops not this one i don't want to trigger a fight anyway so now it feels like the kind of journey is beginning so uh, act two is normally normally a kickoff of the actual quest um, and so there's a, um, I kind of called it a little bit because again, just because we found that statue, the hornet talked to it to us about it, didn't attack us at that moment, which I thought was actually a pretty uh, important moment where I thought that was going to be a second fight because of course, if you come into this thing right here, it looks like uh, you do fight her again. It says defeat one more to decipher the hunter's notes. So she didn't fight us. So I was like, okay, so the scene is important. It, it even had, a, you know, an, uh, what's it called? A, a cinematic. And so uh, at that point, I was like, okay, there's a connection here. Um, there's a signal, a narrative signal that's being dropped. And it's subtle, a little bit subtle. But if you start putting the pieces together with the art of uh, that statue, uh, and then when, of course, you run back over and you come over here and you see the symbol right there, uh, you go into that zone, you see the three masks. And then, oh, now we're seeing the three masks here. So it's connecting these, all these things to get together. And um, I don't know. Then you start putting the tropes together and then figure out where all the what all the beats are kind of suggesting the journey is. So I think it's the journey of this little dude. Uh, he isn't. Uh, well, he was in the in between worlds when they're trying to push him down here. But why? Well, why would these three? Right? Because that's what we got right now. Is as I understood it, uh, this thing right here is saying, "Hey, why don't you um, so protect the vessel, right? So the vessel. Um, who's the vessel, right? So." I'm assuming the vessel is that night. That's possibly a sacrificial vessel. Um, and then the dreamers lay sleeping. Um, uh, let's see. And then we got three. Th these are the three. They, they kind of like they have these uh, heightened uh, uh, kind of like the beast, the watcher, the teacher. These are very archetypical as well, which is very cool. Uh, the, the Trinity, there's a rule of threes going on here. So there's a lot of uh, cool little narrative beats going on here. And then through their devotion, Hallowness lasts eternal so but then it says their devotion so their devotion to keep the thing contained um but then who's the knight i gotta go back to that knight statue and read that again because i do forget the details but those details would matter um and I, of course i've got the luxury of re-watching the episode when i edit it uh where i, I need to know what hornet said because then what hornet said matters to her character and how her character fits into the uh act two uh kind of uh, journey that's going to go so there's like two parts of act two this first part is going to be a lot of um just exploration i mean that's the game is exploration so i mean how much more exploration well we have these other three masks now to like seek out and uh possibly um i don't know do something with talk with uh, use the nail on the dream nail on see what happens it's probably gonna be i don't know more, more fights but uh, that's gonna tell a story and that's gonna lead us i think into more of a deeper act two so the second half of act two i think horn is going to become more vital there uh it's not going to be a villain or an enemy there's going to be an ally kind of relationship being bonded there uh over time over the next i would say 20 hours or so let's say um i usually kind of split things off into how much time i've played but uh, I'm kind of like spitballing here, of course, because I don't know anything. Please don't spoil me in the comments below. This is me going on a speculative rant right now because I'm going to take a couple days off to catch up on the editing at this point. And a lot of has just opened up and it could be significant for uh, another, I don't know, 20 to 40 hours of gameplay. So I just want to be uh, kind of get all my thoughts out now. Um, 
just so that they're because they're fresh right now. Um, and so yeah, so Act Two coming to an end there. It's going to be then the Act Three is going to be taken off. I, I mean, they've taken down the Big Bad, which is I right now I'm calling it as this this fungus or this parasitic thing uh, based on that real life uh, thing that's going down and uh, with the ant colonies, etc., etc. And, uh, and I think that's it. That's all I I'm kind of putting the pieces together as I go. Um, yeah, I would say, I mean, I, 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 I don't want to stop people from talking in the comments below about the lore itself, but if you're interested in kind of me uh, deducting things and breaking things down narratively speaking as I go, then of course be careful with how much you say in the comments below. Um, be friendly to each other down there if something is said. Kindly just let people know. Um, what's going on and, and uh, that I'm kind of you know part of this journey is me uh, exploring the lore more than the gameplay I, I always play games more for the lore uh, the lore is something easy I feel like is easy for me to grasp and things like this uh, the gameplay is going to be hella challenging and I'm, I'm going to be honest with you uh, at this point in the game um, uh, some of the that last fight really uh, it took me to a threshold that uh, made me worried <laughs> that I was like I don't think I'm going to be able to make it to the end of this game I, it's going to be a grinder that uh, I, it's going to be a grind against my will um, because my skills I feel like my skills I, there's a point where skills just don't get better and that's the point that I, <laughs> I don't think I'm the kind of gamer where I can just excel 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 uh, maybe muscle memory and all that stuff right but I don't it's more like a time versus reward scenario for me i gotta as a youtuber it's sort of a tricky you know if i wasn't a youtuber i would grind this more back to back and so that muscle memory is easier to bind into the learning of when you're playing the game you play for hours on end you just it becomes more natural right but as a youtuber uh, which you might see other let's plays out there i'm sure there's other ones out there but their struggle will be similar to mine it's that you know you have production time you have upload time you're maybe playing other games and so it gets to a point where when you return to the game, you're a little rusty. And that rustiness in this game, I think they are not friendly. <laughs> they are not friendly uh, to you not keeping on the ball. You know, like you need to know your shit. Uh, the deeper you go into this game, this, these challenges look insane. Now, again, maybe there's a bunch of things here that open up that make this, that make it way more... Uh, I'm, I'm not going to use the word balanced here in the sense of like things should just be kind of mediocre. No, I think this game is challenging. That's it. I think it's challenging. Uh, but whether it's like challenging and, and challenging to the point where you're like, I'm, I'm done with the game, right? Uh, I, I really does mess with that threshold. And the only thing that keeps that threshold healthy is that it's so well designed <laughs> that you get through something and then it opens something up. And then there's these peaceful moments where like this, like I just went through this entire thing here where uh, it's been chill. I mean, it was hard up there. It was kind of like uh, nerve wracking a little bit with those like crystal ass spitters. But at the, at the, at the end of the <laughs> at the end of the day though then i get here and there's a reward for it and it's like chill again and yes there's maybe other challenges coming up but i don't know anyways that's just me rambling on at the end of this episode sorry about that if that frustrates some people but if you're watching this i don't think it's just for the gameplay if you're looking for like a skill play you probably you should be watching speedrunners. you should be watching people who are skilled players uh if you're playing watching less players and this isn't just for my sake because i'm kind of it's not an excuse although it is <laughs> But if you're watching less players kind of ex experience this game, I mean, let them experience the game because this game is, again, as much about the lore that I just uncovered in just a small part as it is about the challenge of the game. And it is frustrating. And so YouTubers are, it's, you know, there's other things going on. And, um... They don't need uh, other reasons to stop playing the game, which could come from, uh, you know, a community that could get negative or that could get, you know, it just uh, it doesn't make it a rewarding experience for the YouTuber because this entire thing becomes an experience for the YouTuber, the gameplay and the community interactions uh, while this experience is going on. Right. So keep that in mind when you're in the comments below. Be friendly to each other, please. And of course, be careful with spoilers. I am. Uh, I need a bench. God damn it, I need a bench. I'm afraid to talk to this person. I'll be honest, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna talk to this person uh, because I feel like it could kick off a fight and I would rather come uh, fresh to that and uh, we have everything uh, maxed out, but I would like to uh, stop the bench here while giving this outro, which is, I think the point has been, uh, I, it, it, it's been made, it's been made. So you, yeah, you, you get where I stand. Um, I mean, <laughs> I need all of the uh, encouragement I can get to just stay, stay on this uh even if it gets super grueling <laughs> but as long as you're here for the ride uh i'm happy to push myself to do it uh make sure that you give this thing a like though so that it does encourage me to come back sooner and more uh just consistently uh, and just not let go of this no matter how frustrating it gets so that i could i really personally i would love to get to the end but i i do know that i have a threshold and i uh i'm very aware of it <laughs> so there you go so subscribe if you haven't already and i'll catch you in the next stack of episodes don't forget to explore engage inspire buddy peace